years ago, I was totally alone. When I started this work, I was very much hated for sitting with dying patients and making the hospital famous for dying patients. And a decade later, I received so many doctor degrees, I can't even count them. And I don't understand that because I've never invented anything. I've never done anything except sit with people and listen to them and hear them. The most frustrating thing for you right now is that you can't speak well. Mm. 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 Bringing the patient home to a familiar and loving environment provides more opportunity to counsel not only the patient, but also the family. Dr. Kubler-Ross believes that giving the final days of a loved one to their family significantly helps relatives cope with their grief. She knows that she's um, going to die, but the process is taking a long time. And what is it that she's supposed to be learning through it's such a long process? If you can regard this as a challenge and not as a threat or a punishment or something negative, but as a real challenge, like you're able to communicate with her mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. You can learn to communicate like this with your husband and with your children and with me. Mm -hmm. And that's not so difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as we don't fake it, that we mm -hmm. understand you when we really don't, that is also a lesson for us. And then they have to learn to read your needs and your wants. And then it's their gift to find out what it is that you want. The one thing Mother wanted to ask you, and the thing that bothers her, is that she feels that she's, since she's unable to use her body, what purpose is she serving? And she feels like for anybody to live, they should have some purpose in life, and she can't see what her purpose is now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, do you think it's more important to run around the house using the broom cleaning windows mm -hmm. or is there also a purpose in learning how to receive mm. and letting you oh, yeah. you got her there <laughs> and mm -hmm. letting your children mother you a little bit after mm -hmm. you have mothered them for so many years don't you think that teaches them something mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She feels like she's a burden, and when she gets down, she starts talking about maybe she should go into a home, and we have to really talk that out. Mm -hmm. Every day, you can give your children to take care of you, and to see your courage and your love is a gift to them. And you cheat them out of all these experiences. If you're afraid mm -hmm. to receive. 